This guy says, my name is Chris. I'm a big fan of the show. Do you know what WCW's plans were for the Big Bang pay-per-view that never happened? There was an ad in the April 2001 issue of WCW Magazine for a pay-per-view in May called The Big Bang. Scott Steiner had been built up as an unstoppable monster by mowing through all the top faces in the company like Sting, Booker T, Kevin Nash, DDP. In addition, Goldberg's career had been ended in storyline by Totally Buff. I heard a rumor that the main event for Starcade, if it had ever taken place later that year, would have been Scott Steiner defending against Goldberg for the championship. Do you have any information on this? Has anybody ever commented on what their plans were? Uh, and Chris actually included a photo of the advertisement in question here in his email. This is a real ad. Uh, there really were plans for a Big Bang pay-per-view. It was going to be the official relaunch of WCW of the brand under Eric Bischoff and Fusion Partners. This was when Bischoff thought the company would be his. He had investors. He had already devised a plan for the company to essentially go dark for several weeks. So they were It's almost like they were going to shut down. There would be no WCW television for, for a little while. And then they would start all over again. Hence the, the, the Big Bang name for the pay-per-view. Uh, it was to be the rebirth of World Championship Wrestling. That is, until Turner canceled their TV s slots and Fusion backed out. Uh, without TV, the company was essentially worthless, according to Eric Bischoff. And Bischoff appeared on Nitro in those waning weeks. He made, I believe, two different appearances on back-to-back -back weeks on Monday Nitro via telephone. They had a, a phone call that they aired with Bischoff. And I couldn't find the audio of the first phone call. Uh, nor do I remember this episode, but apparently it happened where Bischoff called in and Bischoff was explaining what the plans are, that he either had purchased or would be purchasing WCW. We had partners. Uh, they were going to turn this company around. He was very excited for it. And then the very next week, they had Bischoff back on via phone. And this actually was the, I guess you would say, the penultimate edition of Monday Nitro, the second to last edition. And he sounded completely down in the dumps. There was no excitement in his voice at all. There were certain developments over the course of that week that changed everything. It just completely changed the trajectory of where WCW, he thought, was headed. He thought he, he basically had it, lock, stock, and barrel. And as it turns out, that was not the case, and, and he practically sounded like a, like a defeated man on television. For those of you in the arena and all of you watching around the country this evening, I very much would have chosen to be there tonight in person if I could be, but given everything that's going on tonight, uh, that's just not possible. Many of you may know that for the past six months I've been working with a group of people whose goal it was, and is, to acquire World Championship Wrestling and to grow it once again to become a competitive, dominant wrestling organization worldwide. But recently we've hit a couple roadblocks that may be, in fact, brick walls. And while it is still in my power, I want to do something befitting what could be very well the last night of wrestling on the Turner Networks. I don't know what the specific plans were for the Big Bang pay-per-view itself, but again, that would have been the, the relaunch after a, a, a short dark period of the WCW brand under Eric Bischoff, provided they still had TV on Turner, which at that point they didn't. And when that went away, uh, the partners backed out, Vince McMahon swooped in, got WCW on a sweetheart deal. He basically picked the bones, picked up some contracts, got the tape library, a lot of the copyrights and trademarks and all that, and the rest is history.